Hi and welcome back with a new video about EZ system for naming geometric isomers. For better understanding, I advise you to watch my previous video about cis trans system for naming geometric isomers. Then you can continue this one. Let's start. Last time we stopped at this structure and we couldn't use the cis trans system for naming geometric isomers to differentiate between this structure and this one. To differentiate between them, we have to apply the EZ system for naming geometric isomers. And to apply the EZ system, we have to look at both ends of the double bond. And then we arrange the groups attached to each carbon according to their priorities, which I'm going to explain in a minute. And later, we see if the two groups with the higher priorities are on the same side of the double bond, then this isomer is called the Z isomer. But if the two groups with the higher priorities are on opposite sides of the double bond, then this isomer is called the E isomer, and for you to memorize it, relate E to enemies, and enemies are supposed to be on opposite sides of the double bond. Let me explain how we can arrange the different groups attached to each end of the double bond according to their priorities. Look at the structure. On the right end, we have chlorine and hydrogen. To arrange them according to their priorities, we have to look which atom has higher atomic number. Chlorine, it has higher atomic number, so it's the group with the higher priority. Now look at the left end of the double bond. We have bromine and fluorine. Bromine has higher atomic number, so it's the group with the higher priority. Then. Here we have chlorine and bromine are the two groups with the higher priorities and they are both on the same side of the double bond so this isomer is called Z isomer. While this isomer as you can see the chlorine and the bromine are on opposite sides of the double bond so this isomer is called the E isomer. Let me show you an example where we can apply both systems the cis trans system for naming geometric isomers and the EZ system for naming geometric isomers. Look at these two structures. The one on the left, we have the two chlorine atoms on the same side of the double bond. So if you want to apply the cis trans system, it's called the cis isomer. While the other, where we have the two chlorines are on opposite sides of the double bond, so that isomer is called the trans isomer. Now if we want to apply the EZ system, you know that chlorine, it has higher atomic number than hydrogen so in the left structure we have the two higher priority groups are on the same side of the double bond so it's called the Z isomer while on the right structure we have the two chlorines are on opposite sides of the double bond so it's called the E isomer now the question can we always translate the cis trans system for EZ system or in other words can we always say that the cis is always the Z isomer and the E is always the trans isomer and the answer is no because I will show you an example where they don't match look at this structure if you want to apply the cis trans system for naming geometric isomers since both methyls are on opposite sides of the double bond so we're going to call it as trans isomer while if you want to apply the EZ system for naming geometric isomers if you look at the right end of the double bond the carbon is attached to carbon and to chlorine and chlorine has higher atomic number than carbon so the higher priority group is going to be chlorine while on the left end of the double bond the carbon is attached to carbon and hydrogen and carbon has higher atomic number so the group with the higher priority is the method. So here, both groups with higher priorities are on the same side of the double bond, so we're going to call it as a Z isomer. So here, if we apply the cis trans system, it's called the trans isomer, but if you apply the EZ system, it's called the Z isomer. Are you ready for more complicated structures? Look at this one. 
to arrange the groups according to their priorities we used to arrange them according to their atomic number now if you look at the right end of the double bond it's connected to two carbons now to arrange them according to their priorities we have to look at the atoms joined to those carbons for example the one at the top it's carbon joined to chlorine and two hydrogens so we write chlorine H H the one at the bottom it's connected to three hydrogens so we write H H H if you compare the atoms joined to the upper carbon with the atoms joined to the lower carbon we can see that the one at the top it has higher priority because we have chlorine has higher atomic number than hydrogen so the group at the top it has higher priority now look at the left end of the double bond also the carbons attached to carbons but if you look at the carbon at the top it is joined to carbon hydrogen hydrogen I'm arranging them according to their atomic number while the carbon at the bottom it's joined to oxygen oxygen hydrogen because it's making a double bond with oxygen so if you look at the priority of the atoms joined to those carbons the one at the bottom it has higher priority so now the two groups with higher priorities are on opposite sides of the double bond so this structure is called the E isomer let's have another more complicated structure like this one here if we look at the right end of the double bond the carbon is attached to two carbons so they have the same priority now each carbon is attached to one carbon and two hydrogens so also they have the same priority in this case we move to the next carbon now at the top the next carbon is attached to three hydrogens while the one at the bottom the next carbon is attached to one oxygen and two hydrogens so if I arrange them according to their priorities the one at the bottom it has higher priority now let's look at the left end of the double bond also the carbons attached to two carbons now the one at the top is connected to one carbon and two hydrogens the one at the bottom is connected to two carbons and one hydrogen so the one at the top the atoms attached to it are C H H while the one at the bottom the atoms attached to it are C C H so if we look at them in order the one at the bottom it has higher priority so now the two groups with higher priorities are on the same side of the double bond so this is called a Z isomer now what if you want to name an isomer with more than one double bond and you want to use the EZ system for naming geometric isomers like this one simply we indicate the number of the double bond and its type in a bracket and then we name the structure like if you want to name this structure its name is going to be 1E4Z15Difluoro14Hexadiene and now it's my turn to ask you a question what if the two atoms attached to one end of the double bond they have the same atomic number is this possible yes if we have an isotope like in this structure where d is an isotope for hydrogen it has an atomic number one and a mass of two amu now how to arrange the two atoms on the left end of the double bond according to their priority this is the question that I want you to answer it in the comment section see you if you find my videos are useful subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon to get notified and watch the new videos don't forget to share this video with your friends and write me a comment thank you